I'm Sam and I'm the manager of Terrain Hopper. I'm just going to go through the turning on sequence and the operation of an Overlander 4Z with the Arnet system. Firstly, to turn on, we activate the key to the right position and then we press the green button to the top. On your display, if you notice you have two screens, all the information on the screens have to match. For example, if I press profile here, that's now gone to the profile one. This one has to be set also onto profile one. Within each profile, I can increase the speed or decrease the speed. So that has to match in each profile. Inhibits, for example, when your key is in the off position, you would see a power module inhibit active and that will come on both modules. Inhibits come on when you have deliberately turned it off or plugged the charger in. So by the, if we turn it off, you see your inhibit. If you turn it on, your inhibit is still active. You'll have to reset by turning off and then back on. Another inhibit is created when you plug the charger in. So this is simply done by removing the cap and then plugging the charger in. And you'd activate an inhibit, which means you won't be able to drive. Once charged, you just remove the plug and make sure this cap is fitted back on and locked in position. On this particular model, you have an overload breaker to the front. This serves two purposes. If we trip the overload breaker to the front, then it cuts power to the front system, which means you can then put it into push by rotating this lever into push and you can drive in two wheel drive. To reset, you make sure the yellow flag goes back in. Now the overload trips also serves to protect the power module if there's a overheat situation or an overload situation. Again, similar to the front, there's an overload trip on the rear. Now, with the controls, if we turn on, with our key on, we'll see the information displayed on the screen. If I turn the front trip off, we'll see the front controller turn off, which means you're now powered only for your rear wheel drive through the rear controller. To turn the front controller back on, we put the yellow flag in, which was shown before, and we turn off and on again. Now both controls are now active. The controls I'm going to talk about now on the joystick is switching from manual to joystick. At the moment we are in manual. These two switches are both pointing in the same direction at this point, which is up. To switch to joystick, we just put them down. And so now we are in joystick mode. So this is an automatic mode here. Occasionally, you may have the joystick switches in the wrong direction, in which case you will get a joystick error. To cure that error, make sure that the switches are positioned in the same direction, whether up or down, turn off, and then on again. To switch from joystick to manual, we move the, both switches to the up position. Now we're switched to, to manual. To totally engage manual, we need to remove the bung from the steering system. Now we're in manual mode, which means we can turn and drive by pulling the lever forward, letting go to stop, and pushing the lever back for reverse. This is the Victron monitor that monitors the lithium batteries. This is only required when using lithium batteries. It's got quite a lot of functionality, but what we tend to use is the voltage. If you depress positive or negative, it's showing you how much amperage is being used at the moment. Negative mean being taken out. Wattage, amp hours, and the percentage charge remaining. 
Um, there's other functions which you can add if required by looking through the Victron manual. Located in this position, there is a switch. The switch is specifically as part of a backup system for the servo on the joystick. Occasionally what we found is the potentiometer in the servo malfunctions. Now that will enable on the recoverable situations to still be able to drive the buggy or the server or the pot has failed. For example, it allows rotation but it does not return to its center position. It is drivable but with some difficulty.